welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Victor. Uh, that's right, it's going to be our next Victor deck. We're going to be playing Victor with Heimerdinger and uh, in a defensive deck with Freljord. Freljord has um, some good interaction. Been really happy with the Frostbite cards. You have your Flash Freeze, your Harsh Winds. Um, and then, of course, it has Feel the Rush at the top end, which could be really cool with both of these champions getting a 10-10 Heimerdinger or a 10-10 Victor into play. Both sound pretty awesome. Victor, of course, each turn with the Hex Core upgrade um, is going to be getting the random keywords. And also Heimerdinger makes turrets that have all sorts of different keywords as well. And so with that, we're going to be playing one give it all because both of those cards, we can kind of go wide, get a bunch of keywords, try out this give it all. Um, the, the turrets that Heimer creates are, you know, created cards whenever you play them. That does help level up your victor that needs you to play eight created cards. So they, they go well together like that as well. Also, Freljor gives us Avaros and Trapper. Just a great blocker. Gives you the one mana Enraged Yeti. And this is a created card for one mana Enraged Yeti. That does help uh, level up your, your victor as well. Um, and that's kind of what we have. We're gonna, kind of splitting the two mana slot between a couple Ballistic Bots that can create those Ignitions and Avaros and Sentries that are good blockers that draw cards. Um, yeah, and then that's, that's kind of our deck. And we're going to just kind of sit back and win with our champions. So let's try this out. Heimer, Victor, uh, let's go play some games in ranked. Draven Ezreal. I think this is our first time playing against Draven Ezreal since the new set. It's a very good deck. Okay, Love Aftershock kills both champions. Um, love Troll Chant for protecting, and I, so I think I just keep this hand. Like, Ballistic Bot, you know, they can kill, but they have to use a pretty good removal spell to kill Ballistic Bot. So I think we just keep the sand. Troll Chan can help Heimer a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is difficult. To, which one are we going with? Ballistic Bot or Averroes and a Sentry? They're out there. I guess I'm going to go with the Sentry. Witness perfection. Definitely punished. Should have gone with the bot. I was thinking if they were going to use like a removal spell, I'd rather them, you know, kill the sentry, of course. Probably should just be waiting here. Like that's just impatient of me. Should have just played the bots and had troll chance. You know, waited on with troll chant. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Witness me. Ready the torches. That's pretty nice. Light the signal fires. That was pretty nice. Wasn't exactly expecting that, but maybe I should have been. This ballistic bot has looked amazing for them. You know, they're going to be playing like rummages and stuff too. That card works great for them. Yeah, that was impressive. Just this, this whole game. <laughs> another card that makes another refort, you know, that makes a reforge thing. Oh, 
I'm actually kind of surprised that the that they didn't use like another removal spell in response. But I guess I was kind of expecting like a ravenous flock or something. Oh no no no! I meant to attack. Can you improve perfection? I don't think they're blocking. So or not. This game just has not played out how, how I have expected it to at like any turn. Except for now. That's like the first time. Alright, wanna heal the victor, not let Ravenous Flock kill it, or just you know, another random mystic shot or something. Okay. Do have harsh winds. They can keep that thing from dealing damage to me this next turn. Awesome. Got the elusive. That elusive is going to be pretty important, of course. With. Uh, with give it all. Quick attack. Make them uh, I hope they don't kill my hope they don't kill my victor. Maybe I should have played that after shocks. Now I really wish I had that extra mana. Let's have regeneration. Perfect. I really wish I had that extra man for the troll channel. Wish I didn't cast that aftershock right now. That's gonna just keep them alive. What a draw. I mean, the rest of these don't really matter. I don't really know why I'm doing all the rest of that stuff. That's why we play two Static Shocks. Sometimes you need the second. Okay. One step closer. One step closer. All right, prediction started. But yeah, definitely felt like a game I should have lost. I, I played the first few turns pretty bad, especially with what they were doing with the Ballistic Bot. Um, but I don't know, I guess we just ended up winning. Tom Kench Soraka is always difficult. Let's mulligan you. What? You're supposed to say hi. There we go. I don't know about this, honestly. Maybe I keep this. 
I don't love any of these cards, but this doesn't seem like what we should it's mulligan. There's not like a single card in the hand, even, even Heimerdinger. There's not like a single card that I love. There we go. That's a card I love. Aftershock. Bags. Destroy the landmark. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit That's what we gotta do. Destroy the landmark. I think that's worth it. So I was trying to debate if that's worth it or not, but with this, you know, with the augment increasing the power of the ballistic bot, I think that's probably worth it. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, Breakmaker. System upgrade. Right, so I'm I'm feeling pretty good about yeah no no champion no star spring from them feeling pretty good about that so they must have a bunch of combat tricks in hand yeah I feel like augment's really strong too yeah it's been very impressed with augment as a keyword We're all family here. bring the foot and bow round them up should have stayed home pal. Inferior construct. So they're gonna have two pill cascades. They certainly have one pill cascade, right? Like they have one, and so I was gonna use troll chant and keep both of my things alive. But what if they have a second pill cascade? So maybe I just, maybe I just trade. This is me trading the. Yeah, it's me just trading there. This is probably just a bad idea to block. Because now they're going to box to post challenge. Victor the next turn. Hmm. Alright. Please don't have another pill cascade. Alright, at least I played around that. Keyword regeneration. Scout. Yes, of course. Ingenious. Answers. I have them. Need to save, you know, I'm not going to be casting Aftershock unless it's on Star Spring. I'm going to play the Heimerdinger right now. They'll just give me the, the little 1 1 just to be a blocker. I feel better when you feel better. Our, you know, the other option was Avaroz and Trapper, but I'm going to get Heimerdinger and play. Okay, well, that's terrible for me. Regeneration. Spell shield. Yeah, granted these vulnerable is pretty terrible for me. So I can save one of these, Victor or Heimer. I'm gonna save Victor. Oh, I don't I meant to block with my one one. That was the whole point of me playing getting this one one was to be a blocker. Hey, what's up, Storm? Good evening. Added to the bug list. 
Okay. Caring for the stars shows their true potential. I can't wait to see them when they're all grown up. Are we going progress day? Cool, another Victor. And Victor doesn't need to be in play to level up, so it is, you know, seven out of eight, which is good. All right, so they have this box to push. I feel better when you feel better. It's like the best box to push of all time. I think I could probably play one Aftershock. And keep the other one. I think they've already played, you know, like two Pale Cascades, two Guiding Touch, two... Oh, they have another Bastion. Let's break up these Spell Shields. So they played two, two Bastion, two Astral Protection, two Guiding Touch. have the one card left. There's no there's no way they're just gonna let that happen, right? Uh, the third astral protection. Well Now where do we go from here? Gotcha. I guess now we go look for some enraged jetties. Yeah, that's like the worst card in their deck to draw, right? Just like the one mana 2-2. It's probably drawn Enraged Yeti. I think it has to. So yeah, now Enraged Yeti will level up Victor. Well, I want to try this first. I guess I, I guess I want to play Victor this turn. I want to untap and have the Hex Core upgrade. Good. Flash Freeze. Flash Reese is good. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so we know our next card on top is also Enraged Yeti. Challenger. Yeah, so we don't we don't know what this last card is. They've already played. It's got to be a spell, right? I don't know what it could possibly be. It's probably not a unit. Probably play out the unit.
Not sure what that, that card could possibly be. Maybe it's like the O3 unit. Yeah, maybe it's the third copy of the one mana O3. Let's get some more keywords. Tough. That's cool. So if I wait... I think I wait one turn for this give it all. Cast another um, hex core upgrade. Get you know make Victor eight power. Give Victor another keyword, such as elusive. That's what we're looking for. Now make them all eight power elusives. I mean, it definitely could be Hush that they were holding on to. Okay, yeah, that was their second card. Okay, well I guess just make them five fives. Victor will get the keywords back and, you know, be a 5-5 now. Our mountain groves are full of dangers, but I know them all. Submit. Nah. The question is, should I play Ezreal, Elise with Ledros and a higher curve, or the other version, which tops out at 4 mana? I don't have the most experience with either of those two decks. I would just, I would guess the version with Ledros. Right now, there is uh, a lot of late game kind of decks, and like, and I think that you probably want that extra power. That would be my guess right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I built this one core deck for it was just you know build a Heimer Victor deck. Um, I thought about Imperative Improvement for the Yetis, but I couldn't really find any any space for Imperative Improvement. It is it is perfect with Yeti, but I just didn't really have any room for it. them down to two where I have the mystic shot I didn't want to do the mystic shot or I didn't want to do that first because of acquired taste but maybe that was just incorrect thinking gave them another opportunity to play something else I could have had scout Okay, back to Draven Ezreal again. We'll see if we can be victorious again against Draven Ezreal. Uh, we were pretty lucky last time <laughs> to win this. I didn't play it the best. No, I haven't played Shadow Isles Plaza yet, no. Uh, just the one Grand Plaza deck from yesterday with Katarina. We got another one up next with Katarina. Uh, but I, I think the Grand Plaza is incredible. I think it's the best non-champion card in the set. It may just be the best card in the set. I've played against the Shadow Isles Grand Plaza once or twice. We did one time, to, you know, we beat it earlier today. No, we didn't. We lost to it today. But we, we had Aftershock for the Plaza, and it made me feel good. But we did actually lose the game. So I'm not keeping Troll Chant up this instance, but I think it's just worth it to get the, the plus one plus permanent plus one plus one on them. I'm expecting them to kill one of these ballistic bots right now. Okay, they didn't. Cool, another Troll Chant.
I want to play the Trapper. I also want to keep casting Ignitions. Patience. I should play Trapper. Tribeam Improbulator. That is a sad Improbulator. So use a Mystic Shot and a Tribeam. Both. To kill one Ballistic Bot. And do two damage to the other Ballistic Bot. And, you know, maybe we can go Heimer next turn with Double Flash of Brilliance and Troll Chant to protect Heimer. Oh, it feels like I should be using Troll Chant to protect this thing, though. But... I'm gonna wait. I guess at two... Are they, are they killing Heimer at two mana? Probably not, right? Unless they just drew a gotcha. Oh, they better not have just drawn a gotcha. and they're going like stun because they wanted to get like a good attack. So I'm going to just play this Enrage Yeti to block. Winter's Breath. Yes, yes, again. And fire. Back mentality could be cool. Is seven still like the barrier? Yeah. Go get him, allies. Let's go. Pack mentality with Heimerdinger. Just like we drew it up. Three no. Thank you, Gibshot. All right, we're playing against Zoe Elise. Spooky Zoe. All right, so Zoe Elise. I'll keep a Tavern Keeper. This is probably going to be an aggressive deck where Tavern Keeper is going to be pretty decent. Um, good, no Zoe. I, I was definitely scared of, like, turn one Zoe because I don't really have removal for Zoe. And Zoe's going to be all elusive and everything. So I was definitely scared of that. Alright, looks like they're getting a gem. If they want to attack immediately. I'm not going to flash freeze to keep them from getting a gem. We are going to play trappers and start getting some enraged yetis. There we go. Ooh, good Spacey Sketcher. Turn that gem into a, a real good card. And while that's cool, they do also just have one card that is just a 1-1. One, one, and that card doesn't really matter. Good, no Bastion. Enrage Yeti. There you are. I'll use one Flash Freeze. Keep them from getting a gem. I'll 
I'd like to draw one of my champions. But there's a good chance that we draw another enraged jetty. So you said a constellation is just a perspective. Perspective is hard though. Hmm. What did we catch? Definitely like a champion. Especially Heimerdinger could create a 6-1 elusive. Don't really want to attack him with my Avaros and Trapper against their 4 4. Not a good draw. Where's our champions? I like this new card back, the Zon card back. It looks pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. That is going to be good. That's going to be good. Okay, well, let's attack. Safeguard our homes. I, th I think they got this one. Need to mulligan more. I was expecting a more, you know, I was just expecting an aggressive deck, but, you know, like these invoke cards can play a real long game. I, I kept a lot of good anti aggro cards, you know, with it being a lease. I was thinking it was going to be like pretty aggressive with it being a lease. And you know, they're keeping you know like your trappers and your tavern keepers, and um, they walked around. I think I should have mulliganed more, looking for our champions. Really need our champions. Yay! Okay. Now we have a chance. Because now these harsh winds can turn into 6 1 elusives. <laughs> so they have Aftershock. We could use a bite. Look out for Reavers! Why did I just play the throwing Jetting Beam there? They're out there. I'll spot them. Game's still not over. We need to top deck. We need this to hit them, and then, um, you know, with the two floor be gone, and then we need to top deck Mystic Shot. Alright, so we need top deck Mystic Shot. Oh. 
flash freeze. All right, well now it's over. Now it's officially over. That thing gives overwhelm, and we are defeated. We're playing against Victor and Lee Sin. Okay, this could probably be kind of tough. Love harsh wins, though, against Lee Sin. Um, I'm just mulligan those. Those cards aren't necessarily bad, but, you know, our, our deck revolves around the champions, and we need to make sure that we can find the champions. And so just... Mulligan in those things. Probably going to have to aftershock something this turn. Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow. Both these cards are pretty great. I have the dragon and uh, the bot. <laughs> I wish I had Victor on turn four. I'm just jealous over here. Of course. Energy core upgrade. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. Elusive is an unacceptable outcome. Hmm. I guess I should have waited a turn. Unforeseen outcome. I don't know. I don't love waiting a turn. Breathe in, breathe out. Finally, enraged Yeti. Took you a while to show up. Better not be spell shield. Tough? Come on, really? Tough? To catch. Okay, that card is awesome with Eye of the Dragon. That Interative Improvement, that is pretty awesome with Eye of the Dragon. Regen also. Yay.
on me mask, secure me tail, start the day. Man, this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. We got out victored. Breathe in, breathe out. The entropy, a never ending cycle. Entropy is an unacceptable outcome. You're an unacceptable outcome. So they only they only rummage one mushroom cloud, keeping another one that can level up Victor. Progress waits for no one. Discarded a Nopify. I fight with the dragon's fury. Beware the dragon spirit. Sure, I can have Challenger. Challenger is not really important because I don't really know why they'd want to challenge with that. What is gained when you return malevolence? <laughs> so that levels up, Victor. Man, Victor's so good. I'm so jealous. I wish we were playing Victor. That looks so, so cool. So much fun. Why? Why do one damage? Why? I don't. I don't know. Just made their deck worse. Like, why did they just design. do one damage to my floor beyond? Now has fearsome. I just think it, I think the odds of the field of rush getting denied are super super high, and so I don't want to rely on that. Man, and they didn't block. Imagine I had Troll Chant, I could keep that thing alive. That'd be great. God deny other hand. Shoot, shoot. That was years in the making. Metal is perfection. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. All right, so now they have the, the MK3 of deal three, so they're going to kill the Heimer there. All right, I'm willing to give up. All right, Victor is amazing. And uh, that game, they had Victor. I did not. And Victor just dominated that entire game. All right, so there we go. There was Heimer, Victor. Um, you know, worked first three games worked out pretty well. The the other, the last two, our, our deck didn't look, you know, didn't look as good. Our opponents had, you know, better interaction for us. We didn't have Victor in either of those last two games. And our deck looked kind of weak without Victor, um, and uh, you know, like we did have we didn't have Heimerdinger the game four either. We didn't have either champ, but game five we did have Heimer, but they were uh, we didn't really have great things to go along with it. 
Um, Ballistic Bot looked just great, though. I think this we should probably just be playing three Ballistic Bot, one Avaros and Sentry. I think this is a card that we wanted, like, every single game. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I, I kind of split the difference there with the 2-2, two, two, but I think that uh, from playing those more, I think you just want Ballistic Bot. I think I would change that right there, but... Um, yeah, there we go. All right, that's Heimer Victor. Make sure you draw your victors. This card is incredible. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.